In this video, let us learn about the pad left and pad right methods of the string class. This method is used for padding a string with white spaces or specific characters. The pad left method leaves spaces from the left and pad right leaves spaces from the right. An important point to note is, when the width is given as an argument, the spaces reserved for printing includes the width of the string and doesn't denote the total number of spaces or padding characters. Also, when the width of the string exceeds the width given in the method, the padding doesn't take place because the string width exceeds the reserved total space. If it is confusing don't worry, let us apply this practically. First of all, let us define a string with some value. Now let us use console.writeLine method to print the string. Let us first demonstrate pad left method by using it with the string. We also make it clear that the syntax is string name dot method name. Inside the method, we should place an argument to denote the total width reserved for the string to be printed. It should be an integer value. As we said already, the value includes the width of the string. For example, we give 10 as the value. Now it reserves 10 spaces in which the string gets printed and only the extra spaces are white spaces. Next, we add the console.read line for the output screen to wait before it closes. Also, we use another write line method below the string declaration for printing the string. This is done for understanding the difference between the original and the manipulated string. Now, let us save the program and run the application. The output is displayed. We see that the original string and string with padding are displayed. If we carefully analyze the output, it is easy to say that the second string is moved from the left a little bit. That is actually four white spaces and then the six characters of the string. So it totally sums up to ten. It has left spaces in the left side of the string because of using pad left. We have seen white spaces in our padding. Now let us look at another overload of the pad left method. This has an extra argument alongside the total width. It is nothing but a character which would replace the white spaces in the padded output. The character can be any valid value that the character data type can accept. For now, let us give an asterisk in the argument. Let us save it now and run the application again. If we look at the output, we see that there are four asterisk symbols and then the string has been printed. This denotes that the white spaces would be replaced with the character we give. It is best to print characters to know how much spaces have been reserved. As we said before, if the string width is more than the width given inside the pad left argument, then the method has no significance or effect in the string. For instance, we change the string value which has 13 characters in total including white spaces. But the total width is only 10. Let us run the application to see what happens. We come to know that the output has no difference. It only uses padding if we change the total width to a value more than 13. This is it for pad left. Now let us look at the pad right method. For using the pad right option, we just edit the left in pad left and change it to right. This method is also as same as the pad left method. The only difference is that, it does everything from right instead of left. But the overloads are same. Now, run the program. We see in the output that there is no difference. The pad right option has worked but is not visible as the white spaces are everywhere. So let us go and add something to get printed after the string to see the difference. Let us add a pipeline symbol after the strings, so that we could know where the strings end. 
we can use the concatenation operator to add the symbol. The concatenation symbol is nothing but the plus sign. It becomes the concatenation operator when used with strings. We run the application to see the output. Now, it seems clear that the first and the second strings are not the same. The pipeline in the first string is just next to it. But the second string has four spaces next to it and then the pipeline appears. This denotes that the string has been padded right. Let us now remove the pipeline symbol from both the strings. It was done to show the reserved white spaces along with the string. But now, let us use the other overload which can place a character. This time, let us place a hash symbol instead of the asterisk. And now, save the program and let us run it. We look at the output and it is as expected. The padded string has four hash symbols after the string value. It includes the six string characters and four hashes totaling to ten. Next, we check the output by increasing the length of the string to more than the width. It results in no change as we know already. So, we have demonstrated the use of the pad left and pad right methods. I hope that this helped you understand the concept. Let us see the other methods in a future video. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe for more videos.